So, some state lawmakers say an update to the state's child pornography law is needed to include AI-generated images. Yeah, CBS4's Hannah Adamson reports now an update could help law enforcement as well as help kids keep safe. The state statute on child pornography defines the word image to include computer generated images, but never specifically mentions AI by name. This came up several times during an interim study committee meeting this week as law enforcement struggles to figure out how exactly to deal with these types of cases. I've only been retired five years. And it's not something that I ever had to deal with. Former FBI agent Doug Kuhn says Indiana investigators and prosecutors need clarification when it comes to AI-generated pornographic images of children. I think it's a, a new and very gray area right now. Beth White with the Indiana Coalition to End Sexual Assault and Human Trafficking says a clarification to the law would help minimize and neutralize potential serial predators. It is often that there are multiple, multiple victims. And so, of course, having convictions in court are a very, very good and specific way to save and protect other children. State Representative Bob Morris says getting AI-generated pornographic images off of servers is a top concern. These uh, servers that have these images on them, the Center for Exploited Children notifies them and they're not being taken down. Uh, possibly our attorney general getting involved as well, you know, against these companies that are housing these sexually explicit images. State Senator Scott Baldwin says legislators could revisit Indiana's criminal code to make that clarification. I'm not sure it's clearly defined and there's probably an opportunity for us to more clearly specify that it's not a defense that the image generated or used or sold or um, was generated by AI. Kuhn says if you receive any kind of pornographic image on your computer or your phone, be sure to report it to law enforcement immediately and then delete it. He says even if that image is AI generated, you could still be in violation of the law. Reporting in the newsroom, Hannah Adamson, CBS4 News.